Hey everybody, I'm Jason Yoder. Welcome to my channel. This is where I share with you all of my travel, my photography. But before we go any further tonight, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Tonight just might be the last night that we're exploring the Great Plains of North Dakota. So I've been out here for the last few nights trying to get that little house on the prairie shot. And I've had some success. It's just that at some of these places, it's just not what I'm looking for. Like what I thought was gonna be a great one tonight is an old abandoned schoolhouse with telephone poles running down the side and what it looks like is gonna be a cloudy night or cloudy evening. So I might not be able to get a good sunset photo, but this is what I'm looking at. So this particular site, it's really not doing it for me because I really think it needs a lot of colorful clouds. I don't see it happening here. Now this is on private land. Now I'm on the, the public road. Uh, so, you know, I'm not gonna go trampling on somebody else's land here. So I'm using my zoom lens. Here's a couple of the images I've gotten so far. I'll mark the spot on patreon.com forward slash EWJ um, on my locations newsletter for those who are interested in it. This could actually be a great spot, but without a lot of color in the clouds, I don't think it's gonna happen here. Um, we might, I just think I just might jump on the road here and head over to the red schoolhouse I found a couple of episodes ago. We're, I think about a half an hour from it. And we'll see if we can set up there. I mean, we're still gonna be battling these skies, but we may be able to come up with a better image there. So uh, yeah, let's get in the car and uh, head up that way. Yeah, it's, um, it's cloudy. It's very cloudy. It's not looking good. I'm still heading in the direction of that little red schoolhouse, but it is just not looking good. Now, truth be told, I could go out again tomorrow night, but I haven't been to a hockey game in a real long time. I am in Minot, North Dakota. When I got to the airport, I noticed they have a uh, minor league hockey team and there's a home game tomorrow night. So I would really like to go to that. Um, but, you know, I really want to get that photo I wanted because I honestly don't know if I'm ever going to be here again. Now, the reason why I'm up here, the reason why I'm on contract up at the Air Force Base, it's going really good. So they might want me back, but um, it also gets negative 20 degrees up here in the winter time. So not too sure about that one. Uh, but yeah, about my not here. So as I drive through the country, I come across intercontinental ballistic missile silos. Freaky, very freaky, all right? very freaky to be driving past those things but that is the purpose of the base is essentially to have bombers and intercontinental ballistic missiles now none of this is classified it's all public knowledge as a matter of fact if you are on um, patreon.com it's forward slash, forward slash ewj i'll go ahead and put the gps coordinates of one of those silos again these are public knowledge uh so nothing classified but you'll be able to see them and truth be told there's nothing really significant about them. I drove by one and had to kind of just pause and pull the car over after I got past it because I'm just like, wait a second, was that a silo? It only stands about five feet above the ground because the entire complex is on the ground. So it's really nondescript. If you didn't know what you were looking at, you probably would have just thought it was some utility. So yeah, anyhow, check out the newsletter and it will be a Google Earth coordinate. You'll be looking right down on the thing. Um, they're all over the place out here. These plains are vast and the colors of fall are everywhere. The greens that dominate the plains have, for the most part, given way to the yellow of the soybean fields. I've noticed that a lot of landowners have sunk oil wells in their fields. I decided to pull over and grab some footage with my drone. Although I primarily do stock photography, 
I need to start investing more time into uploading my footage for sale as well. Sometime in the future, once I refine my footage workflow, I'll share with you my process for preparing and uploading footage. Continuing on, I'm growing more concerned about the clouds, but you just never know. It's not looking too good. So I'm back at the uh, old red schoolhouse, there it is, that I visited a few days ago. It was also cloudy weather. Um, it's just not looking all that great right now. We're about 30 minutes from sunset, and there's just not a break in the clouds now. Way back there, about an hour back towards Minot, clear skies, I can, I can see the clouds starting to get some color in them back there. But here, not so much. I mean, it's a relaxing evening, which I'm enjoying, but I really wanted to get this shot, especially since this is probably the last opportunity I'm gonna have. Despite the overcast skies, I am still drawn to this old schoolhouse. This place once served as the only source of education in the days before the comforts of electricity and vehicles made their way into these remote parts. This must be the place where the stories that your grandparents told you of walking to school in the snow must have come from because there is no town here, no civilization, only the schoolhouse with farmhouses miles away. I put up the drone once more to try and take advantage of this area. This time of the year is like a sunset. It is very brief. The colors of fall come and go very quickly. That is what makes this footage interesting. To get it, you must be here in the right place at the right time. Right now, we are here when the plains become a tapestry of color. Well, what can I say? Sunset's just not gonna happen tonight. So I'm gonna go back to my room, edit some video, and get a good night's rest. Thank you all for watching, and hope you enjoyed my, uh, sh me sharing this time with you out here. Even though it's a little freaky being around all these nuclear missiles. But anyhow, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out patreon.com forward slash EWK. And of course, if you can, please adopt a shelter animal or make a contribution to your local animal shelter. Here, and I'll see y'all next time.